This is the number one grave risk of buying a property that is off the plan, and that is valuation. All right. Go behind the scenes, the client purchased an investment property about two years ago, it was 650K and it's in Queensland. This is the postcode and we're trying to obtain 80% against this property. And the settlement is actually the next week. Check out this conversation I had with the client. Okay. Hey, tell you good news. I just got you formal approval. Yay, thank you. You're welcome. So, you know, that, that property you bought off the plan, you know? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yep, yep. All the storm, everything. Lucky yep. the valuation held up. Oh, yeah. Um, thank so, God. And, and the contract, you know, you know, we fight for it. We came back at contract price, whilst the other, you know, people, you know, got lower price, right? By 60 yeah, grand? No, so, no, by 50. So some of them, you know how they are lower in that? Yeah. And it's funny how um, only this one particular valuer apparently doesn't even bother inspecting the other unit. Mm, that's right. So pretty much give, give one value to everyone, even though it's a different uh -huh. respect. Horror story. I avoided it because I had multiple banks to do the valuation, which means the first bank I placed her, the valuation was short. Then I switched to another bank that would get a higher valuation. But unlike her friends who bought the same um, units in that same block, they went directly to the bank. So, oops, sorry, that's the only product we've got. And you're stuck. The agency can hear here, client's very happy with the service and also I put her at peace because she doesn't need to worry about next week's settlement. That should be done before that, right? Yeah, I'll yeah, be away yeah. from that night. No, no, no. Uh, it'll be done um, next week, next week, next week. Perfect. Sign, Perfect. book settlement, and then yeah, you can go on your holiday. Perfect. So for the peeps out there buying off the plan, be careful. Developers always give late notice to do valuation and then you have like two weeks to get the finance. Unlike her mates who went with a bank, that came back with a lower valuation and sorry, we can't uh, change it, you can't challenge it. And then two weeks to switch banks. Imagine anxiety there. I would suggest, highly suggest not trying to like pimp my service and plug my service. Speak to any brokers out there that has more than 25 lenders. Speak to them in advance, maybe about maybe uh, two months in advance just to suss out the valuation and suss out other alternative lenders so that you know if the first lender wasn't good, you've got another one ready to go. Hopefully that helps you. Jump in the comments, let me know what you think.